Security is important. It's paramount. Though in this IT industry, I feel there's a lot of snake oil and a lot of security practices that make little or no sense to me. And I'm just going to whine about it right now. I hope you don't mind. I've whined about uh, device management and antivirus. Though today I want to talk about the sort of compliance check marks, things like CIS, Center for Information Security, and maybe even like PCI DSS. So these, all these sort of compliance checklists that you have to tick um, so that you can deploy to typically government or um, large enterprises, uh, big IT projects, things that I'm actually involved in. So when I get to see the CIS bench benchmarks, I'm like looking through them and going WTF. Like, does this really add any value? Like security is a spectrum, right? And you need, you need security, though you need convenience too, right? You can't have an air gap machine and expect to have access to that machine when it's not connected to the internet. You need the appropriate measures in place. You need to be proactive. You need to be reactive. This sort of security practice of going, oh, I've done this, I've done that, and we've got a secure system, that just makes no sense to me. Um, let me just show you a screencast of what CIS looks like right now so you can get a taste of it. It's just, mm. I just wanted to bemoan that I think the CIS stuff is just kind of security theater and doesn't offer much value. Um, and it's a real pain to deploy if customer asks it. So let's have a look at Amazon Linux, for example, typically just runs Docker containers, right? But if I understand correctly, I mean, it's been a while, I, you know, this was a nightmare when I did it a few months ago, so I've kind of forgotten most of it. But like, it wants you to do all these manual things like disabling file systems. I mean, what, what's what's the point of that? And, and when it says score, does does that does that mean that they have a program to do it? Because when I did it last a few months ago, every one of these things was just manually, tediously done in a spreadsheet. It's just, are you serious? And you know, like they talk about re remediation, like what, why haven't they r r raised an issue with Amazon if they think so strongly about it? And obviously Amazon maintain this thing. So like, why should we be jumping hoops to do this? It's just the most painful, agonizing work to do this sort of thing. And you know, there's hundreds of them, right? Hundreds. And you got to check them off one by one. Is this, is this really, you know, adding any value it's 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 just a huge expense for, for us and our client obviously i mean if there's like a quick way if there's a quick way of like of passing all these things um then you know my my fears might be abated but as far as i can tell it's a nightmare so as you see there i don't think there is an automated way of checking this stuff off. You have to do it kind of manually. Or, ha, I found out, oh, lo and behold, CIS offer a hardened image in the marketplace where you basically, for every machine that you run uh, on Amazon, you pay just two cents extra to get the hardened image with all those rules that make little or no sense. You know, don't you think Amazon know about security? I mean, this stuff is just absolute theater. So why do it? Why are governments and cybersecurity teams ch mandating this? It's, it's bonkers. If you know better than I do, please comment below because I'm, I'm, just in, I'm just dismayed by this industry. Can we just do security properly and not do this nonsense? Thanks for watching. Please like the video and uh, subscribe for more wines like this, I guess.